everybody, Joe Joseph here for TheDailySheeple.com, and this is your new shot, so to zero hedge I go, where controversy reigns supreme sometimes. They say the majority of white Americans say they face discrimination. Say it ain't so. Say it ain't. There's a lot of people out there that love, love, love that appeal to emotion. You know, my grandfather, my great-grandfather, my great-great-grandfather, they were discriminated against. There is absolutely no doubt discrimination has existed since the very dawn of time. It's going to continue to go on. We're going to discriminate against robots. Hell, maybe AI and robots will finally bring humanity together. I don't know. But until then, a new NPR poll, National Public Radio, finds that a majority of white Americans believe they face discrimination in America today. Look at folks, everybody's facing discrimination in America today. They have got us so divided that everybody's discriminating against each other. And it's doing exactly what it's intended, out of chaos order. Quote, if you apply for a job, it says, they seem to give the blacks the first crack at it. This is according to 68-year-old Tim Hirschman of Akron, Ohio. He says, and basically, you know, if you want any help from the government, if you're white, you don't get it. If you're black, you get it. Now, as NPR reports, more than half of whites, 55% surveyed, said general, generally speaking, they believe there is discrimination against white people in America today. I'm going to stop there. There's discrimination against everybody today, everywhere you go. This is the thing that I don't understand, is why we buy in to these social justice movement where that is certainly not the intention. Maybe in MLK's day, Malcolm X's day, it was most certainly the intention of those gentlemen to bring about change for the better for their fellow man. And Dr. King was not promoting any sort of racist, anti-white rhetoric. It had nothing to do with that. It had to do with the principle that we are all equal in the eyes of God, skin color has no bearing on anything, on anybody's ability to do well, to thrive, to succeed. But it's that society, the societal standards that are put in place that are the injustice, that need to be fought against, and that are discriminatory against every race here in the United States. If you're a human being, if you're a human in the United States of America, you're being discriminated against. Period. End of story. Hirschman's view is similar to what's heard on the campaign trail at Trump rallies after a uh, Trump rally after Trump rally. Donald Trump catered to white grievances during the 2016 presidential campaign. And to date, it's actually benefited his campaign, his presidency. 50 year old heavy equipment operator Tim Music who lives in Maryland just outside of D.C., says anti-white discrimination is real, but he doesn't think he's ever felt it personally. Now, I myself have never felt that. I have never been the subject of anti-white discrimination. Now, I had applied at one point in time when I was night-night, fall asleep. I applied to become a police officer after my service in the military. And when I did... Uh, I did not score as well as others, even though I thought I did pretty well on the civil service test for it. And I could never identify whether it was anything was due to race or anything else. And I really didn't care. But I have heard of people being discriminated or selected over, even though they scored higher because of races, because of the race card, because of equal opportunity law. And the hard thing that we need to face as humanity is the road to hell is paved by good intentions. You cannot expect government to, to be able to solve all the problems. And discrimination is something that the government just can't solve. The thing that will solve discrimination in this country is very simple. It's love. We need to love each other. If you loved each other and respected one another, racism would melt away tomorrow. Discrimination would melt away in a heartbeat. 
It really takes that. I think it's kind of interesting that Zero Hedge pointed out this poll because it does show something that's very real. That whether you're white, you're black, whether you're poor, whether you're Catholic or Jewish or Muslim, it doesn't matter. We as human beings always find a, a way to hate each other. We do. We actually look for it when it's so much easier to just live and let live. What's so hard about that? And what's so disenchanting? What's so caustic about live and let live? Because if we did that, and then we formed the basis of our society around it <clears throat> again, I think you'd come to find out that this would be a very appealing place to live, a very happy and loving place to live, not a perfect place. I don't think we could ever achieve that as humanity. But certainly, we would begin the healing process and on the right track again. I'm Joe Joseph. This was the DailySheeple.com's news shot. Feel free to comment below and visit our website at the DailySheeple.com. Hashtag wake the flock up. Have a great day, everybody.